Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Today I'm taking my Air Venturi Avenger in 22 cal out to the range and we're going to do some moonlight testing. This is my Avenger in 22 cal. I had this one custom Cerakoted at Pyramid Air. You can order them custom Cerakoted when you order them. I got this OD green. And then what was this one? I think the copper accents on it too, but Pyramid Air. Definitely check out Pyramid Air if you've never been on their page before. They got stuff like this and everything else under the sun, air related. Awesome site to go check out Pyramid Air if you've never been on there. But the whole purpose of today's video, I just got this sighted in. Now I've got several different types of pellets and I'm going to try to find the best one that this Avenger in 22 likes. Just like anything else, if you got a, say a 308, it's gonna like one type of boo lights over the others. The air bing bangs are the same way. They're gonna like a specific weight, a specific brand, a specific type, whether it's a hollow point or a domed, you get what I'm saying. It's gonna like one over the other. So now that we got it sighted in, I'm on a mission to find a pellet that it absolutely loves. Now, I, th this Avengers in 22, I actually have the 25. Hold on. This is my Avenger in 25. Avenger 25 cow. And I've already done this type of test with this baby, and I have got a pellet that will put them in the same hole at 50 yards. Absolutely love it. If you haven't seen that, go check the videos out on my 25. But... Now we're on that same mission with the 22. Let me show you real quick the pellets that I have that we're gonna test out. This is actually the order we're gonna do at the range too. We've got these exact jumbo beasts. You can see the weights here. Then we got the H&N Crow Magnums. Then we got the Seneca hunting pellets. And then we've got the H&N Barracuda Hunter Extreme. So several different types. You can see this has like a Phillips head nose to it. This has kind of a rounded dome nose, hollow point. And then these are a domed nose too. So comment down below, which one do you think that Avenger is going to like best? Just off the bat, I really don't know. I kind of want to go with one of those H&Ns, but we're fixing to find out. Let's head to the range, line these up, see what we can do. I'm going to do several groups out of every single one of these so we can get a good data set on what it likes the best. Because sometimes you have a bad squeeze or you get a bad round or whatever. We're going to do several groups of each and then come back and measure the groups with the calipers. Check it out. All right, so how did we do? Like I said, that was at a public range and it gets pretty rowdy out there. So I kind of had to edit out some of the audio. Anyways, you guys saw what happened. Some definitely did better than others. Some were terrible, some were pretty good. I got two groups that were under an inch at 50 yards. So let's see how we did, look real quick. The first ones were these exact Jumbo Beast Diabolos. And 
I only did one group because it started to be terrible. I got one, two, three right there, and then I just stopped because I already have some data on those. Let me show you. I got some groups with those from when I was sighting it in. Here's what I did. With those, the average was pretty much 1.7 or 1.8. I got that with those, 1.6. I got a 1.9, a 1.52, and then a 2.1. So 1.5 was the best that I was able to get with these bad boys, which I kind of thought they'd do better. But hey, that's why we do these things. The second one I tested was those crow magnums. And... That is one of the ones that I got under a one inch group with. So I got a 0 0.9 inch group, one, two, three, and then a 2.5 inch group, and then I got a 2.5 inch group. So kind of odd that I got two 2.5 inch groups and then I got a 0 0.94. Kind of odd, a little bit odd. And then the third one I did was the Seneca hunting pellets, which is actually the best. So check out how did we do with those. Got a 1.47, a 1.57, and then the best group of the day was those three right there, a 0.52 inch group. So far, that is the best that I've gotten out of this Avenger in 22 cal. And then the last one were those H&N Barracudas, kind of a Phillips head on top. And how did we do with those? I got a 1.54, a 2.67, and then the other ones were off the paper. These ones, the point of impact shift was off to the right. So, the best, our winner for my Avenger so far, is these Seneca hunting pellets. Let me pop up a picture right here so you can get all the stats off of it. But... That's the best, a 0.52. <clears throat> also, there at the end, since that was the winner, I did another group. Let me roll that footage in right here. That was me just playing around since I saved some of these. With those Seneca hunting pellets, I got, what is that, four or five right there in a row, pretty much touching. That's probably half inch group. And then I had a couple flyers up here on the top. I even wrote it there. So I'd remind myself that wasn't those, but it was these. So there you have it, guys. So far, with the probe magnums, I got a pop up that picture right there. I got a 0 0.9 inch group. And then with the Seneca hunting pellets, I got a 0 0.5 inch group. But one of you guys, let me bring it up here. After my video came out that I had a 22 Avenger, one of you guys, I'll pop it up right here, said, mine has excellent results with the JSB 18.13 and the Hades 15.89. So definitely gonna try to get my hands on those two and see if I can beat even 0.5 inches. But so far, my Avenger in 22 cal likes these the best by far. You guys saw the footage. These 100% did the best groups, with the best being 0.5 inch group. Half of an inch, guys. That's pretty small at 50 yards. You know, A lot of times people will plink with these at 10 yards, 20 yards. We're sighted in, and we're group testing them at 50 yards. But hey, let me know what you think about this thing. On top, I've got a crimson trace. Is this a three to 12 or a four to 12? It's a three to 12. Uh, real clear glass on this thing. This is a crimson trace brush line pro. I've, I've run quite a few of these on my whitetail bolt action rigs. Definitely a, a good optic. But hey, there's my part one of my mission to find the best pellet. For this Avenger. All of these plenty good for plinking. Um, even hunting maybe a little bit closer. Uh, but man, with these, I'd feel 100% comfortable taking a poke at a squirrel at 50 yards. That, these are putting out some good groups. Uh, but part one of my mission to find the best pellet for my Avenger in 22 cal.
appreciate y'all coming along to the range with me. Again, if you want to check these out, go check out Pyramid Air. They've got these and a ton of other stuff. Appreciate y'all watching. Check out all the links down below. Pyramid Air gives the Hooty Who viewers a discount if you check that out. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Hooty Who! Oh.